Hi Aquarius, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot. I am here to do your April 2018 monthly reading. Generally my readings are love readings. We will see whatever comes up. Keep in mind this is being recorded in March, uh, you know, towards the more towards the beginning of March, so or mid-March. So this reading's for April. I suggest you watch it in April to get the full, you know, what it resonates in April because days change. Every day energies change. Okay. This may resonate in March, but just keep in mind this is for the month of April. There you are, reversed. It's funny because I was thinking, I was meditating on you guys before I turned the camera on. And I was, what do you have for Aquarius? What do you have for Aquarius? And I heard self-love. You guys need to love yourselves. And what comes out is the star card reversed, which is you. Self-love. You guys are lacking self-love. That's amazing, right? This is this is telling me that you're you're unable to let something go. You're holding on. You're holding on to something. Fear of change. Insecurity. Lack of faith. Lack of self-love. Fear of change, holding on to something that doesn't have a lot of life left. Hurt, very hurt, a lot of sorrow here, a lot of grief. Needing to really think about this, really focusing on your future, taking a step back. You may be dealing with a Virgo or a Scorpio. I feel like you're really, really contemplating on, on the next step, what to do. But you're still unwilling. You're still unwilling to shed. Unwilling to let go. Unwilling to take action because of this fear of change. Lack of hope. Lack of faith. Having a lot of mental conflict at this time. Feeling defeated. Going through some power struggles over this. This ending that you're really contemplating. You're really wondering if this is the right decision. But you're holding on to something that is nearly dead as it is. Okay? And it feels as though, you know, you've worked hard on something. You have put in a lot of effort into something. And, it, you know, I feel as though you're trying to protect because these are both protection cards, even though this one's reversed. You may be holding on to something and not, not, um, is making some sacrifices. Okay, I think you're making some sacrifices because, maybe because of your family. Maybe you're holding on because of your family. You're trying to keep things under control. You're trying to keep things organized. You don't want any chaos. You don't want to hurt anybody. But you really, really want to move forward. You're really looking for peace. I would, I just want this to work out. But you're being called to take the logical approach. To be logical in this situation. I think there's some... This is... Uh, the Five of Swords is severing some ties. So I think you're still thinking about severing some ties with something that is, I think you're dealing with somebody that is probably manipulative and controlling. I 
we got to get this zoomed in. But it feels like, you know, there's definitely some sort of grief here. Some heartache. Regrets. Let me get this zoomed in. Or zoomed out, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's time to to really assert yourself, okay? Assertiveness is needed to bring peace and harmony back to your life. And to bring, you know, I can see that you guys are trying to do the right thing. You're trying to be very compassionate with this situation. You're trying to act with love, but you're not being honest. Okay, you are being loving and kind as usual, but there's some dishonesty here. And I think you're being, because you look, it's mirroring these, these, okay. You are being dishonest with what you really want inside. You're being dishonest with yourself because you don't want any chaos. You don't want any disorganization. You're worried about what society thinks. You're worried about the outside influences, Okay, there's outside influences here that are impacting your decision to release something that is causing you a lot of sorrow and grief and hurt. So you're taking all the time, a lot of time to really focus on the future, the plan, how, what, when, why, the whole nine yards. And right now I feel like you can't take action. You, you are unable to take action. You're unwilling to take action because you fear change. You fear change and I feel like you you have absolutely been manipulated in some way. Whether you're the manipulator, there's manipulation here. Whether it's you or the other person, okay? There's some sort of manipulation here where it's like, there's some, this is deception, okay? Reversed. And this is too. So you this could be you deceiving yourself, deceiving your wishes. Because you're not fulfilling your wishes by staying stuck somewhere that you, you know, don't want to be and I don't think you really want to be here but you don't want to hurt anybody either okay I feel as though you want to move on but you're unwilling to move on okay so you're being called to take to really be assertive be assertive use your sword use your power find your power to sever these ties that You've been unwilling to sever because you don't want any disorganization. You're trying to keep everything intact. I'm the head of the household here. I'm trying to, whether this is man or woman, whatever. I'm trying to keep everything together. I'm trying to do the right thing for everybody involved. You know, I've worked hard on, on this family or this job, whatever this is. I've worked really hard and I've accomplished a lot. And it feels as though... You are unable to use your power because of this fear. There's, there's a lot of fear here. There is a lot of fear here. And, but I feel like you're not happy. You're not happy. And it's time. It's time for you to make that call. It's time for you to accept the truth. There's an unhappy relationship here. There is. There is. It feels like there's no love to give. Or no, and I don't really want it at this time. Or you're not receiving it from somebody. And it's time for you to wake up and really, really let this go. I feel like you've been keeping a secret about your true feelings. Oh, boy. And, you know, it feels as though there's a false foundation and you are being urged to build a new one elsewhere there is something that wasn't wasn't meant to last forever it wasn't built to last forever okay and you're being called to start anew because whatever's happened now it feels as though now there's there's no excitement left. There's no expansion left. There's no growth yet left. I can't even see a future with you at this point. Whatever this is. You know, that kind of thing. It's like there's no 
visions of the future where you're at now. You know, it's like they, I think that there is, um, it's very unreasonable for you to stay in this situation that doesn't make you happy. So it appears that you are being called to take a leap of faith. And start a new journey and build a new foundation. This is take a leap of faith. Start start over. On your own. You know, because it feels like it's time for you to celebrate your life. It's time for you to be happy. It's time for you to have some fun. But I feel like you don't have the strength. You don't have the strength to take this leap of faith. You don't have the strength to, to start over. You don't have the strength to be honest with yourself. You don't have the strength to accept this truth and to use your power. You don't have the courage and the confidence. I mean, that's what the card means reversed. I'm just giving you the meanings. Don't get mad at me. You lack the the courage and the confidence and the strength and the willpower to follow your own wishes. Because you're trying to do the right thing. Unable to take action. Because you're still preparing. You're still working on it. You want togetherness, right? You just want, you want things to work out. I, you know, I really feel like there's been some sort of, and I hate to keep saying this, a third party situation comes up so often in readings and it's just it's a really sad sad situation but it feels like you may be or the person that you're dealing with may have acted impulsively or they're thinking outside of the relationship there is some sort of impulsive behavior even if this is reversed okay and the emperor is very impulsive behavior so there's been some there's been some impulsive behavior here and the thing is, is it's time for you to, to come out of this darkness and see the light. Okay, it's time for you to let this recovery happen. And you've been procrastinating. Okay, it's time for you to make a move. Stop stalling. You have absolutely been stalling. But there's no success where you're at, so what are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? There's no success. There's no victory. There's a lack of self-respect here. There's a lack of forward movement. There's lack of communication. There's a lack of vision. There's a lack of passion. There's a lack of excitement. There's a lack of growth. And you are being called to, to take a leap of faith. And to love yourself enough to let go of this heartache, to let go of this sorrow. Do you want to hang on to this? Either way, the, when the tower comes out in a reading, this is an event that is destined to happen. So I, it appears, and there's another three. So we do have the three threes. We have three, three, three. Anyway, I feel as though, whether you know it or not, threes are about growth as well. All this has happened to make you grow. All right. Anyhow, um, this tower is here to say a change is needed. A change is needed. So they might help you with your procrastinating ways. Okay. They might help you to see the light and come out of the darkness because a tower is now mirroring this five of cups. So the, the tower event, whatever happens, may help you to see the light and to do the responsible practical thing because this is responsible and practical so it appears to me that this is a month where you are being called to 
take a leap of faith. Find your strength. Find your discipline. Find your willpower. Let go of the sorrow and the grief. Be assertive. Stand up for yourself and move away from this situation so that you can be happy again. It's time for you to accept the truth. But you're in denial, and that's what that, I mean, that's what that means. But you are being called to accept the truth because there's no success and victory here. It's time to stop procrastinating and take action this month. Have a leap of faith. Take a leap of faith. Do I see no romance, new romance coming in? No. I feel like, you know, th I'm not sure if this is work-related. Whatever. You apply it to your situation. But wherever you're at, there is unhappiness. And you are being called to take a leap of faith and follow your path. Stop procrastinating. Stop holding on to something that is dead, nearly dead, okay? It's over, but you're holding on to it. It's reversed, but I'm going to flip it. Trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith, which you've been lacking, right? You've been lacking faith. You've been lacking trust that you're making the right decision. Reversed. I'm going to turn it around, but it came out reverse. Yes, this is your soulmate. At one time, it was. I'm going to leave them. i got to stop turning these cards around. It's not. It's not. At one time, it was. But we know we have many soulmates in a lifetime. Okay? We do. So just keep that in mind. We have many, many soulmates in a lifetime. You deserve love. You are lovable. It's reversed. Remember I said you lack self-love? You are lovable. You do deserve love, but you don't think you do. So you're staying in a situation that is bringing you a lot of hurt. You are lovable. Don't forget it. Oh, thank you, God. It came out upright. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you are guided to take. Yes, it is. And I just gave you a bunch of steps, didn't I? Whether you take them or not is up to you. zoom that one in for you. Trust. With your logical mi while your logical mind is dictating a, su a supposedly clear direction, your soul's inner guidance is urging you to follow an alternative path alternative path. The logical path may be one that you consider safe and more familiar, but you could be missing out on boundless opportunities and so much more. You are absolutely being called to take a leap of faith because there is more on the horizon. This is a lesson you have to learn, Aquarius. You have to. It's part of your life's plan. Take this leap of faith. There is more outside of your comfort zone. Talk to you later. Let me make sure that you can read that. That way you can go back and read it yourself. Talk to you later.